Police in California have arrested a suspect in connection with a 2000 cold case murder of a 22-year-old barber, who was found shot to death inside his car. The Pittsburgh Police Department in the Bay Area on Thursday announced the arrest on Pia Tassini, 45, for the murder of Danny Guys. Tassini, of Elk Cove, was also charged with attempted murder in connection with a separate shooting that also took place in 2000. Plus 5 and bit equals ID 36384189A07B2SRC equals HTTPS colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash 1S slash 2021 slash 02 slash 19 slash 14 slash 39493140927863 7 image 8 underscore 1 trillion 613 billion 745 million 273,534 JPG height equals 450 width equals 306 alt equals police in the Bay Area have arrested Pia Tassini, 45, for the September 2000 murder of 22-year-old Danny Guys, pictured, class equals black border and share, greater than copy link to paste in your message plus 5 and get equals I27268 FC134 C42508 SRC equals HTTPS colon slash slash I. UK slash 1s slash 2021 slash 02 slash 19 slash 14 slash 39493154927863 image m7 underscore 161374526357.jpg height equals 450 width equals 306 alt equals guys is pictured with his mother class equals black border and share greater than copy link to paste in your message plus 5 and get equals i5 e2c307 df679 src equals https colon slash slash i dailymail.co.uk slash 1s slash 2021 slash 02 slash 19 slash 14 slash 39493152927863 image m24 underscore 161374585264.jpg height equals 343 width equals 634 alt equals class equals black border and share greater than copy link to paste in your message share this article share according to the police Tassini's arrest 21 years later came after cold case detectives served a search warrant and obtained new evidence critical to the case the case began unfolding on the night of september 27 2000 when police in pittsburgh received a 911 call about a man who had been shot while sitting in his car at 1605 railroad avenue The victim, guys, was found slumped over the steering wheel with two gunshots to the head. He was taken to Sutter Delta Medical Center, where he died of his injuries less than an hour later. The victim was remembered as a talented young barber who was about to start a new job as a custodian at Pittsburgh Unified School District reported East Bay Times. The only lead detectives had at the time was that the gunman possibly fled the scene of the shooting in a light-colored Ford Mustang. Plus 5 and get equals I3 FO333 C973 CC1443 SRC equals HTTPS colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash 1S slash 2021 slash 02 slash 19 slash 14 slash 39493136927863 image A16 underscore 1 trillion 613 billion 745 million 801,799 JPG height equals 495 with equals 306 alt equals class equals black border and share greater than copy link to paste in your message plus 5 and get equals IE51 CC2A49318 SRC equals 
https colon slash slash i dailymail.co.uk slash 1s slash 2021 slash 02 slash 19 slash 14 slash 39493150927863 image m15 underscore 1613745794284.jpg height equals 495 width equals 306 alt equals Danny Guy's class equals black bordering share greater than copy link to paste in your message the case was ultimately assigned to the police department's cold case unit which spent the next 20 years looking into numerous persons or interests and suspects a break in the case came in 2019 when detectives identified to see me as a possible suspect police have not said what led them to him after securing a search warrant and obtaining new information related to the case, detectives took it to the Contra Costa Attorney's Office for review. DailyMail.com on Friday reached out to the police seeking comment on the cold case investigation. On Wednesday, prosecutors filed a criminal complaint charging Tassini for Guise's murder and for the January 2000 shooting of Kenneth Brown Jr. The suspect was arrested at his home in Elk Cove that same evening. Tassini remained jailed on $10 million bond at the Martinez Detention Facility on Friday.